Hi, uh, my name is Matthew Campbell. I'm a postdoctoral researcher in the Department of Mechanical Engineering and Applied Mechanics at Penn. Um, I work with Professor Igor Bargatin, and in our research, we use microfabrication technology to address problems uh, in the fields of energy and in aerospace engineering. Um, just to give you a quick intro to microfabrication, you could think of it like we create tiny mechanical structures and really small circuits, smaller than that you might see in your computer, um, that you can barely see with your naked eye. And uh, that's what we use for our research. So maybe I can just tell you about two problems that we're working on right now. Um, the first one is in the field of energy. Um, so because of climate change and the finite resources we have for energy on our planet and also concerns about pollution, we're constantly looking for ways that we can transform fossil fuels or other energy resources, be it solar, heat, geothermal, something else, into electricity. And uh, the traditional way of doing this is using a big old power plant. So you have some heat source, you make steam from water, it turns this turbine, that turns a generator, and the generator makes electricity. So you, there are enormous power plants uh, and uh, periodically they have to be shut down for maintenance and there's other problems associated with them. We at Penn are taking a slightly different approach and that is to create electricity from heat using no moving parts whatsoever. It's called thermionic energy conversion. The idea is you take a really hot plate called an electrode and you have a colder plate and you separate them by a vacuum gap a very, very small vacuum gap. And spontaneously electrons emerge from the electrode that's hot, the cathode, and they cross the vacuum gap and enter the anode. So that's electric current. Um, but the problem is that unless you get the electrodes very close together, the efficiency of this device is only very small. So at Penn, what we're working on is developing a very thin spacer that can sit between the uh, cathode and the anode and allow them to be very close, about two microns apart. And uh, we're working on making the spacer in a way that it's electrically insulating and thermally insulating so we can have very efficient devices that don't use any moving parts and can create a lot of electricity in a very small footprint. So that's one project. The second project has to do with aerospace engineering. Now, uh, we've pointed telescopes up in space and looked at other star systems, and Alpha Centauri is one of them. Uh, but it's a whole other matter to try to send a probe there. If you were to put a probe on a chemical propelled rocket, uh, something like what uh, you know, SpaceX or NASA designs, it would take forever to go to another star system because the rockets we have just aren't fast enough. We need a new way of propelling things in space. So at Penn, what we're doing is we're designing a new way of uh, space propulsion called a light sail. You get a big array of lasers on Earth and you shine them up into space on a very reflective sheet, very thin, lightweight, reflective sheet. And the photons themselves actually propel this sheet along and it can tow a tiny little chip along with it at a speed that's roughly a fifth that of light. That's much, much faster than what our rockets can do now. And it's fast enough that we can send a tiny little chip all the way to another star system in a reasonable amount of time. So microfabrication helps us because it allows us to create big structures that have small um, features as well and that are very thin on the order of a few nanometers. So this is another project that we're working on at Penn. Um, there's three reasons that I do this work. Um, the first one is that I wanna make an impact. Uh, and these projects that I'm working on, I think are important. And I think it allows me to use my mechanical engineering background for uh, projects that are bigger than, than just me and my own little world. Um, the second one is almost more important to me. And uh, that is it allows me to train students uh, and basically equip the next generation of researchers. And that's why I love my work at Penn. I think the most important product of a university isn't necessarily the research. It's actually the students that the university produces, the graduates, all the people that train there. And uh, so that's another reason I do this work. Uh, the third reason I get excited about this work is that it's challenging for me and allows me to grow as a researcher. So um, those are three reasons why I'm involved in this research. If you would like to get involved, um, especially in the research we do in the Bargaton group, you can email Professor Bargaton and introduce yourself and say you'd like to talk about possibilities for research. 
um, I would encourage you to um, look for some funding opportunities that are available through Penn, especially some summer funding that's available. And um, we can help you fill out those applications if you're interested. Um, we've taken students in our group that have backgrounds in physics, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, all sorts of different areas. So um, feel free to apply and tell us what your interest is and we'd love to talk to you. Um, I also just wanna give a few tips uh, for, for those who are interested. Um, the first one would be don't um, rule out the possibility of doing research, even if you don't have any experience whatsoever. Um, if you're willing to learn, then we can teach you what you need to do research. Uh, anybody with, um, with a background in these engineering areas would be great to have on our team. Uh, it's never too late or too early to get involved. Uh, we'd love to have you and have you uh, start your research with us or uh, continue on with a new project. Um, and then uh, the next thing is sometimes it takes a while to find a good research fit uh, with the group or a project. So try, try something out. If it doesn't work out, then try something different. Uh, and we'd love to have you try some time in the Bargerton group. So uh, with that, thanks again. Uh, we'd love to hear from some of you soon.